I've selected every other needle for just eight needles and I'm going to pick those needles onto a cast on rag and then I'll hang weight from the cast on rag. I've hung some weight on the rag and I'm just going to move the needles back into work and then I'm going to bring the needles forward, latches open, open the latches with the cut credit card, and then move them back to upper working position. Key plate two, hang a clothespin on some slippery ravel cord, nylon um, thread is just fine, and thread it in the machine, just let it dangle, hold it with your hand, and knit across. And then, of course, you're going to need a clothespin for the other end. It's so slippery, it'll go slipping down onto the floor otherwise. And then, thread up with the regular yarn. And another clothespin. Pretty soon I have four or five clothespins hanging from my work. And just go across. Then, Complete the cast on by bringing out the in-between needles and one by one make sure that the latches are open. And now you're going to knit 14 rows. Once you've knitted 14 rows, you're going to decrease on the carriage side each row until the needles are all decreased out of work. What I do is I move the stitch over and then I like to bring it back so that it's in forward working position with an open latch. Knit across, follow the same procedure on the other end. Move the two stitches together, bring the needle forward, and then push it back so it's in forward working position with an open latch, and knit across. And I'm going to keep doing this procedure until I get down to the last stitch, and then I knit through that and finish off. After a while, I remove all the hardware, the clothespins, the weight. And what I want to do is also get the cast on rag off because this is getting to be too much weight for this few stitches. And then all I really need is one claw weight. And I will continue my decreasing and my knitting. Here I am down to two stitches. And here I am down to one stitch. Do the extra row. Cut my yarn. And I'm going to leave a tail that I could sew with later and just pull the yarn on through that last loop. Here's my finished thumb. Point on this end and a funny little thing on this end but I draw it up by pulling the yarn and it pulls it into a gather on the top and I can, I'll fold that and I will sew that along this seam with a mattress stitch, purl side out, and that makes my thumb, and then this slanted area is going to go into the side seam of the mitten. Here's my thumb with the gathered up tip. Pull it tight. I'm going to thread the yarn into a, a big plastic tapestry needle. and unfold it. What I do is I pick up a horizontal bar 
a stitch in from the edge for the mattress stitch, go to the opposite side, pick up the bar, a stitch in from the edge on that side, back to this side, next bar, back to this side, next bar. Then after stitching a few stitches, you can draw up the yarn and see how you like the looks of the, of the seam. And see, that's a very nice seam, and I'll just keep sewing on that to the place where the V begins. I mattress stitch up the cuff of the mitten and stop when the ribbing stops. I stop exactly there. Then I'm going to mattress stitch from the top of the mitten down about halfway. Here's my side seam, the ribbing sewed, the hole for the thumb, and then the mattress stitch on up to the top of the mitten. Here is the thumb ready to be sewn in. I will thread the yarn from the bottom of the thumb and I will begin sewing right here. The thumb will be inserted into the side seam. I take a bite from the mitten and then with my needle I take a bite from the thumb, mitten, thumb. I want to keep my seam pretty narrow and as a matter of fact with this reverse stockinette I can work along this slant and get a nice seam. So I will keep putting that mattress stitch in and working my way up the edge of this thumb. So here's how that side seam looks along the side of the thumb. And then what I'll do is I'll seam this mattress stitch down from the top of the mitt toward the thumb to make that match. Then finally I'll sew the other side of the thumb to this side of the mitt. So here's my pair of mittens, fun little project and very, very warm.